Okay, so by now we know very well that the derivative of a function at a point gives the slope of the tangent line. So what we'll do in this video is use this to solve a very typical geometric problem involving tangent lines. So let's get started. So suppose that I ask you to uh, calculate the slope of the tangent line of a given function. In this case, I chose the function uh, 1 over x squared at a point, minus 2 and 1 fourth. Of course, this point must lie on the function or, or, or the curve I'm looking at. And then I ask you to find the equation of the tangent line at this point. So how do we do that? Well, my advice whenever you're faced with a problem like that is to first sketch a graph of the function to have an idea of what you're going to do. So in this case, the function is 1 over x squared. So if you sketch a graph of that function, you end up with something like this. And the point we're interested in here is the point minus 2, 4, which is somewhere like here, minus 2, 1, 4. And we're interested in finding the equation of the tangent line at this point. So the tangent line would look like something like that. Okay, so to find the equation of the tangent line, what we really need to do first is find the slope of the tangent line. Now, there's two ways you can do that. So let me first talk about the approach that I will call approach 1, which consists in finding the slope directly from the definition of the derivative at the point minus 2, because that's the point we're interested in. So you just use the definition directly, so you'll get something like this, minus f of minus 2 divided by h. And now you could replace the function by 1 over x squared and evaluate this limit. I will not do that, so I'll leave that as an exercise. But you can trust me that what you'll get is 1 fourth again. Okay, but I don't really want to do it this way. So what I'll do is something slightly different. So what I'll do, which I'll call approach 2, is to find first the derivative function f prime of x for arbitrary x, and then substitute x equals minus 2 afterwards. So let me calculate f prime of x explicitly from the definition of the derivative. So, okay, I have the same thing as before for my definition. Now I'm going to replace the function by the function I'm interested in, which is the 1 over x square function. You get something like this. The whole thing divided by h. And to evaluate this limit, what I'll do is put everything on a common denominator. Okay, so what do I get? Well, I get an x square minus x plus h square, so I'll just expand the square here. Get this. The whole thing divided by the product of these three factors. So x plus h square times x square times h. And now what I see is that the x square times cancel. There's two terms here remaining in the, in the numerator. And in fact, I can factor out an h from these terms, which will cancel with the h here. And what I'm left with is the following. Minus 2x minus h over x plus h squared times x squared. And now I can evaluate the limit directly. So all I have to do is replace h by 0 everywhere. What I end up with is minus 2x over x squared times times 2 over x cubed. Now this is my derivative function here, and this is exactly what I had in the table that I showed you in the previous video. Okay, so how do I go from there? So what I know now is that the derivative function f prime of x is equal to minus 2 over x cubed. So what is the slope of the tangent line at the point that I'm interested in? So we may recall that the point I'm interested in is minus 2 1 fourth. Well, the slope is given by just evaluating the derivative at the point x equals minus 2. So I get minus 2 over minus 2 cubed, which is really just 1 over 4. Aha, that's what I told you you would get. Great, but that's not over. Now I, need, I still need to find the equation of the tangent line at this point. So the easiest is to use what's called the slope formula. So remember that the slope of a line is given by the difference in the y-coordinates of two points on the line over the difference in the x-coordinates. So in other words, the equation of my line is given by this formula where x1 and y1 are a given point on the line, and m is the slope of the line. So for us, we know that the slope is equal to 1 over 4 
here I have y minus, so I have one point on the line, which is this. So I'm just going to replace this here. x minus minus 2. This is just equal to y minus 1 fourth over x plus 2. Now this is the equation of my line, but I can put it in a slightly better way by multiplying by x plus 2 here. So what I get is 1 over 4 times x plus 2 is equal to y minus 1 over 4. And in fact, I could even put the equation a better way by bringing the y on the left hand side and putting everything else on the right hand side. I would get y is equal to 1 over 4 times x plus 2 over 4, which is just 1 half. Bring that on the other side, plus 1 fourth. Or in other words, y is equal to 1 over 4 times x plus, so this is 2 4 plus 3 4, so that gives me 3 4. Which is the final answer, which is the equation of the tangent line at this point. So by the way, if you're wondering why we're actually using the letter m to denote the slope of a line, well, that's a very good question. And in fact, I was wondering the exact same thing. So I looked it up online, and apparently, well, nobody knows. It's, it's kind of surprising. But uh, so I thought about it, and I guess, well, we could say that M stands for mystery because nobody knows what it stands for. Uh huh.